guys, Lenny HD here. So today I'm going to do a video about uh, MSI Afterburner. It's a graphics card performance booster. Now, first thing you need to know about this is if you do use this on your GPU, you're going to void your warranty. So keep that in mind if you do plan on using this or really any program to overclock your, your, your graphics card. So, what you're going to need, or what you're going to want to have for overclocking your video card is, number one, adequate cooling. Now, a lot of video cards come with built-in fans. Uh, for example, I've got the uh, GeForce GTX 960 MSI 4 gig. It comes with the uh, Twin Frozer V, uh, which the, the built, they're basically built-in fans, the technology... Uh, it stops spinning under idle loads, keeping heat and noise levels low. Um, so that's number one. Number two, you're going to want some type of benchmarking, benchmark testing software or a game, a very like a graphic intensive game, whether it be Crisis 3, uh, the new Assassin's Creed Syndicate, for example. Um, any graphic intensive game. You can also use programs like... Let's see here. Go to Google. Type in GPU benchmark test. Uh, three marks, pretty good. Future marks, pretty good. You can use those. Um, for this video, I'll just be using Assassin's Creed Syndicate to show you. So, now, one thing I am going to recommend you do download. Uh, if you don't already have MSI Afterburn, obviously um, you can get that. I'll leave a link in the description for this. But it's called the thing I recommend you download is uh, GPU Z uh, by Tech Power Up. And what it is, is it's this pretty cool monitoring system. So it'll show right here, similar to what's being shown over here, it'll show your core clock, memory clock, your temperature you know, your temperature over time, memory use, fan speed, et cetera, et cetera. Everything that you need to see and monitor while you're overclocking. Um, and it'll show everything in here, your memory type. Um, so a very useful application, free application at that, that you can use, that I recommend using while you're overclocking. I recommend just doing a little research, watching a few videos and and teaching yourself how to overclock. I kind of taught myself how to overclock and I'm still teaching myself how to overclock. And there's ways to do it um, and be safe and not destroy your equipment. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's actually overclock. So here in MSI Afterburner, you've got your core voltage, your power limit, your core clock, memory clock, and fan speed. Now, when I'm overclocking, I always... Always start with core clock, and I always, always, always increase by increments of 10 to 15, maximum 40. I never increase increments more than 40, uh, and that goes for core clock and memory clock. Now, for voltage, if you're going to be um, overclocking with voltage, you're going to have to go in your settings, and you're going to have to unlock volt unlock voltage control here and we'll talk about um, overclocking with voltage a little bit later possibly in a different video for this video I'm going to focus mostly on using core clock and memory clock so what you'll do pull out your uh, load up tech power GPUZ uh, click on the sensors tab and you can either click and drag like this or you can actually type in here and type the number you want so let's go back. So right now we're at just stock, right? So what I would do is I would start with, say, increase increment by 20 and hit enter. And I would go to my memory clock and hit 20. Not 230, 20. 23 would be fine. 20 and hit enter. And then after doing that, I would load up my game, test it out, see how it works, you know. Um, what you're going to want to check for is, you know, are you getting extra frames? Is it running better? Are you able to run the game on higher graphic settings? Um, now, what artifacts are, are basically like dots, lines, any abnorm abnormalities that you'll see on the screen, like screen tearing. 
And what this means is that your GPU, you, you pretty much overclocked it too far. So, or, or overheated. That's one other possible reason for getting those artifacts. So that's, that's why I recommend increasing by low increments. Now, if it does happen to where you get artifacts, if you get any of those lines, alterations, or anything like that, you're just going to want to decrease and, and decrease so the same increments, you know, maybe decrease by five increments so you can get that sweet spot. Um, so now that we've gone over all that, I've actually got, we're going to go stock. So this is just my uh, GeForce MSI GTX 960 4 gig stock, right? I'm going to apply it. And I've got Assassin's Creed loaded up. Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So let's go in our options, take a look at our video and our graphics. So right now I've got on custom environment or environment quality. I've got high, texture quality high, shadows quality, PCSS Ultra, which creates realistic shadows that become sharper, closer to the casting object, and progressively softer further away. Excuse me, they increase shadow map quality, creating a higher quality shadow. HBAO Plus Ultra, which is an enhanced version of HBAO Plus. This creates a more detailed ambient occlusion, shadowing, especially around characters and layer geometry for anti-aliasing. I've got TXAA 4X Plus FXAA, which is like a film style anti-aliasing technique. Anti-aliasing? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Technique designed specifically to reduce temporary aliasing, which is like crawling and flickering when you like move your mouse back and forth really quick. So these aren't my recommended settings. So as you can see up here, I'm using up almost all of my memory by having these settings, right? On my, on my uh, video card. So let's go into the game. Okay, and as you can see, it's like, it's not playable. I'm getting three frames per second, right? What I have here is an actual profile I made uh, where I increased my voltage, my core clock, and my memory clock. Um, these are the values, so let's apply it. And I increased my fan to 100%. I always put my fan fully up whenever I'm testing just to keep the temperature down. Um, and then I'll put it back to auto. So now let's go back in the game and look at this. Now it's playable. So just a second ago, we could barely even move. I couldn't even open up the the menu to change my graphic settings back. Now, okay, did you see that little flickering? I don't know if you caught that. Um, let me run around a little more, see if I can get it to do that again. Um, so that, what you just, right there. So that's what, those are, that's artifacts. So what that means is that the card is still overclocked a little bit further than it should be. Now, there's ways of fixing that without decreasing the core clock or the, uh, the memory. I can increase the voltage, but that's when things start to get tricky, and that's when you can start doing damage to your video card. And if you're going to mess with voltage, that's when I would recommend you have liquid cooling because things are going to start to get pretty hot to overclock period but when you start messing with voltage past even even this is risky so basically as you can see i i just took like let me go back to this setting this is my stock my video card stock let's go back in the game because if we look in our graphics it, it's used up i mean there's there's not much room in there for the, the video card to, to make any any processes. So by overclocking it, we essentially, you know, are able to play <clears throat> a game on better settings that essentially we shouldn't be, right? So it's 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 a very useful thing. It's, you know, it comes in handy. Um, now you can always play the game on low settings and it, this isn't a requirement. Um, but if you do want to play the game in close to ultra or high settings and you have a decent video card, overclocking is a perfectly viable way to do that. Um, <clears throat> and so, like I said, start out stock, you know, increase by small increments, 
test it each time. Each time you increase, load into the game, or use a software, test it out, test it out, until you get to that sweet spot. When you get to that sweet spot, you're just going to save it. And you can save it. There's five profiles here where you can save it. So you click save, click the profile you want to save it in, and that's that. And then you can swap back and forth between them. So when you swap back and forth, you hit apply. So like, I'm going to go back to my normal, just stock, because there's no need to have it overclocked right now. I'm not going to be playing that game specifically. Um, I'd be happy to make any other overclocking videos with different games to try to increase your frames per second. Um, I'll leave links in the description for the two uh, software programs here for you to download. Um, and just, just use caution when overclocking. Make sure you do a little research before you start messing with stuff. And I would recommend don't even touch voltage till you get a good idea of how, you know, overclocking works. So stick with just core clock and memory clock in the beginning. And then once you start getting comfortable overclocking, then maybe mess with the voltage. But once you start getting real high voltage, like getting past 40, I would say, <clears throat> you're going to need liquid cooling or you're going to fry your, you're going to fry your, um, your video cards. So the, the fans built in to my GTX 960 just aren't enough for, to turn voltage up that high. They just aren't. Maybe having extra fans in the computer could help, but still, I would say stay away from voltage if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.